Hello guys, um, today we're gonna do another video um, We're gonna talk about this uh, VS chassis And the VS chassis actually is the um, fastest fastest um, chassis um, Tamiya um, um, manufacturer in 1999 And uh, it's really light and uh, have pretty good transmission system And um, as you can see on the back they have um, the uh, the rear uh, roller stay mount in the front they have a, a special v-shaped design that's why it's called a vs and the problem of vs the i mean uh, the disadvantage of vs it is like uh, the rest of the body is pretty strong but the problem is the front um the front is kind of weak uh, once you get a hit it's finished because um, it's not like a Super 2. Super 2 or either uh, AR or MA or either um, MS, they have really solid front. So they can take all kind of um, hit. Um, but a VS is just like, it's just a little bit better than Super 1. But uh, once you get a hit, for sure it will get a damage. So, um, so for the... Uh, um, VS, uh, you have to find a way to uh, uh, reinforce the front a little bit. So uh, I'm pretty sure you saw a lot of um, Japanese um, um, technical car. They modify their technical car on the VS chassis, and they have those very very special uh, custom made front. And a lot of people don't know how to do that. So for the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna just give you a, a really quick um, review um, to um, um, uh, um, guide you how to do that step by step to um, uh, make the front a little bit stronger. So before we start, it, um, um, I'll just let you know. And uh, the thing you have to focus on the VS. In order to uh, make the front stronger, you have to using the piece right here and the piece right here. That two side skirt, which is here, we're going to put another um, ender plate. Basically, we're going to using something like this. Okay, this is might be discontinued, but they have the uh, FRP version available right now. Um, so, this is the thing we're going to... Basically, we're gonna mount this on the bottom, okay, like this. And uh, so we're gonna put another carbon fiber piece, a little piece, on top of here, and on top of here as well. So we're gonna we're gonna drill a little hole here and a little hole here, and then we're gonna insert a screw from the bottom. I mean, from as you can see right here, from this hole. And, uh, and and it's gonna be go so here and I'm gonna I, I tell you I'm gonna put another carbon fiber here on the top to uh, make it a little bit stronger then I'm gonna uh, screw that together to make it a little bit stronger from so let me go ahead and start it and I'm gonna um, I'm not gonna show you a, a live uh, demonstration I'm just gonna show you a couple picture I download from the internet that's a, it's a really good example to show you how to uh, do that it's really detailed just look at each picture you will know how to do it and here is some uh, picture uh, of japan cup the, the vs chassis um, people modify and uh, you can see the front uh, they using the side skirt and the mount another um, frp or carbon fiber plane under the bottom and uh, to uh, to give a maximum support for the uh, vs chassis so let me get it started right now okay um the step one um, you're gonna using a piece of mass tape and to tape the part you're not gonna cut so the rest of the part which is there um, the outside of mass tape it's gonna be uh, the part we're gonna cut off so just be careful you don't want to overcut it because overcutting you're gonna destroy the whole chassis um, so just make sure you're looking this picture really really careful that's the part that you're gonna cover and step number two, you're gonna using the uh, high speed Dremel with a, a dish. Some people they call this uh, color a uh, rotary tool. So whatever you call, 
but like, you're gonna using this tool um, to cut the front piece off. You have to make sure you follow the line, which is the mask tape they uh, they cover. Don't over cutting. You if you cut, you wanna cut, you wanna really be careful. Just cut a little piece. Just leave a little bit line behind that. So just make sure you don't over over cut it. If you don't over cut it, you still can you know later on you still can fix it. But you over cut it, cutting the piece right away destroy it. And after you finish those um, the cutting, it gonna be looks like this. Step number three, you're gonna using number uh, 500 sandpaper, and to uh, sand off the uh, extra scrap. So, but make sure you're gonna place the sandpaper on really, really flat, level uh, surface table, and also make sure you're holding the chassis really, really vertical against the sandpaper. So in this case, you're not just sanding off the scrap; you are also fix the layer um, I mean the cutting side to be really really uh, straight you're gonna sand off really straight and after you finish it gonna be looks like this just make sure the little two hole on the front you have to behind that um, behind that side so just make sure you, you're not gonna be over sand it if you over sand it right away it's destroy and this is the back side gonna be looks like just make sure again just wanna make sure you don't over sand it, okay? That's the dimension should be looks like. The FRP play on the top is the item number one five four three zero. That's the item we're gonna using um, for um, um, put on the the back of the chassis to reinforce the front. And the one bottom is the uh, two millimeter um, carbon fiber popsicle. We're gonna using that to replace the uh, front roller stay. So step number four, we're gonna first to mount the um, two millimeter carbon fiber popsicle on the top of the uh, FRP because remember we already cut off the uh, front chassis, so there's no longer any any um, place you can put it put the um, the front bumper on the top of the chassis. So we're gonna replace that um, with the FRP. Also, the carbon fiber gonna be uh, replaced on the top of FRP. Um, so step number five. First, we're gonna put uh, the whole piece of that and onto the VS chassis, and uh, we're gonna take a look at it if it's everything's match. It's not oversized or either less cutting. If you less cutting, you have to cut more. So next step, we're gonna turn around and look at the back. So if everything okay on the front, so we're gonna look at the back right now. So the back right now, um, you have to take a look at it. Using any kind of pencil um, to to draw a, a line because on the VS chest in the back, there's a couple um, plastic was blocking away. So that's part you have to cut off on the FRP to avoid that plastic part that will stick out. So as you can see on the picture, um, there's a there's a couple line on the side. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and start the next step. So next step you're gonna uh, same you're gonna using high speed Dremel or either rotorial tool to cut off the the mark. I just using pen to uh, mark the the line, so it's gonna be looks like this. So right now you can see the back of it. It's gonna be perfectly fit to the back of the V uh, the VS chassis. And the next step, you're gonna complete cut the side off. So you see the side the roller uh, stay is already gone. So um, it's gonna be looks like this. And I'm uh, gonna give you a little advice. It's better to using this uh, carbon fiber version um, because carbon fiber is stronger than lighter. Because the uh, also the uh, FRP is it's kind of you know weak and waggle. So if you have this, you can using carbon fiber to replace the FRP. But uh, first, you can using the FRP to cut the shape, and using the and you can using that as a sample. 
to put on top of the carbon fiber then you can chasing the shape uh, but anyway I'm just gonna use in carbon fiber uh, as sample uh, for the uh, next couple steps and the next uh, we're gonna do is um, we're gonna using the little uh, the uh, left and right the side skirt and we're gonna put a piece of carbon fiber on the top of that to uh, get a maximum support and next we're gonna use this 1.5 millimeter uh, carbon fiber popsicle and this is item number 94845 and I know it's already been discontinued but it's okay if you have the uh, FRP version it's also work as well and um, by the way you don't have to be exactly using the item number if you have like a 2 millimeter uh, carbon fiber popsicle uh, you know it works and the next we're gonna cut both ends first and it's gonna become of that little two pieces like this and the next we're gonna using a high speed dremel and to um, take off a little bit side off and to make the shape exactly gonna fit to the VS the side skirt and the next you're gonna using a drill uh, to drill through the hole make the front hole and gonna be a match to the back but um, uh, give you a little advice you don't really have to using the original hole um, as long as match the back the hole you can drill your own hole after you finish the side gonna be looks like this and you can apply a little bit crazy glue um, to make it a little bit stronger. The final and the final step, we are going to insert our screws and the lock nut. And we're gonna insert the screw from the back like this. And the front, we're gonna put the two lock nut to lock the the plate. And uh, then we finish. It's gonna be looks like this. And uh, um, you're gonna have another problem right now. Remember, you are putting the um, the play on the top of F, um, whatever FRP or carbon fiber, so it's gonna be totally flat, which means on the front roller you're not gonna be having an angle. Um, so if no angle, you know you're gonna fly off on the corner. So in order to make some angle on the front for the, I mean the front like bumper, the um, I can tell you, you can using uh, any kind of package paper. I mean, the label like this. You can cut uh, a little piece off, okay? And then you're gonna put uh, that little piece of paper and uh, behind like this uh, on the on the back of the uh, uh, bumper like this. So it's gonna be like this only. Let me sh let me give it a better angle. You can see from here. It's gonna be like this. Uh, how many layers you gonna put? It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. If you need just need a little bit of angle, you could put just one piece of paper. Right now, I'm putting two layers, which is have a, a more angle. So just make sure this piece of paper have to on the back of the the uh, roller stay. You cannot put it like this. Okay. Do not put the whole piece in the center. You have to put that little piece of paper on the back of the roller stay, which is right here. Let me give you a better angle. You can see right here. So in this case, you can see right now you have the angle was like going going down a little bit. Then next, just using a lock nut, just lock it, and then then you finish. Then all the problems solved. You have the angle. You have the uh, a strong front right now 